Mortal Kombat 11 had a lot to show in its trailer, and at one point that had a lot of people talking is the reveal of a new character at the end of the trailer. People want to know who this character is. Why is there an hourglass? What kind of environment is she in? Well, today I have an answer for that, and I'm going to explain what this new character is all about. Now, keep in mind, this is not an official answer. We will know once one person from the development team will say anything about it. But for now, the answer that I have is one that I am 100% sure is the right one. So let's get into it. So what do we know about this character now? Well, first, I think we can all make the fair assumption that she has something to do with time, since she is seen right next to a huge hourglass. And to me, the stuff in the background kind of reminds me of clock gears even though i don't think they are clock gears i still get that vibe but even then she still has some sort of relation to time with the hourglass she also seems to be in a very dream related location an unknown realm in the trailer and to me that gives it a big indicator that she is the character that we have been talking about for years now and that is the mystery woman in jade's ending Currently, this character does not have a name, so we will just call her the Mystery Woman for right now. Now, I know you might say that she doesn't look the same as she did in Jade's ending, and my response to that is, well, of course she doesn't, and of course she wouldn't, because the Mystery Woman's design in Jade's ending was probably just put together in like three minutes because the developers likely said, hey, just draw a woman for a random ending, we won't actually work on her until years later. Like seriously, I am sure that's how it went down. I also think they had to make her look different because for some reason some people thought the Mystery Woman was Lee May or Delia, so Netherrealm probably wanted to say, yeah, no, this is a new character, not Lee Mei or Delia. But anyways, what's the deal with the Wistry Woman in Jade's ending? Well, we learned that she is from an unknown realm, she possessed Jade's body, and informed her that Shao Kahn's death must be played out differently. And that's all we know about her in MK9. Fast forward to MKX, and Kitana's ending, Kitana had a vision of her being the Queen of Adenia, and Adenia being a peaceful place. Also in that vision, she also happened to have survived Armageddon and united the realms together to kill Shao Kahn, making all the realms live at peace. This, however, did not happen because of Raiden messing up the timeline in MK9. This vision of Gitana not being a revenant, surviving Armageddon, and being the Queen of Edenia was actually given to her by the Mystery Woman in the form of Jade. This was confirmed by one of the former writers of Netherrealm. So why would the Mystery Woman show Katana a vision of what could have happened in the original timeline had Raiden not intervened? Is the Mystery Woman trying to undo what Raiden did and having Katana see what would happen if you kill Shao Kahn by uniting the realms instead of how he killed Shao Kahn in MK9? Well, we do know in MK9 she informed Jade Shao Kahn's death must be altered and she has been watching the events of the timelines unfold and then she goes to show a vision of what could have happened which is ultimately a better outcome. So what's the connection between the mystery woman and the new character we see in the MK11 trailer? Well, we already know the mystery woman wants to undo what Raiden did and mess around with both timelines to make it a better outcome and the new character seen in the MK11 trailer is described as being the center or at the center of the story mode for this game according to a description from Warner Brothers quoting with a tease of a new character who is at the center of Mortal Kombat 11 story and on top of that there's another description from Warner Brothers describing Mortal Kombat 11 story being a time bending story so, it is kind of confirmed that the two timelines are likely to be playing around with each other in this time-bending story. The Mystery Woman wants to alter events based on the original timeline, and that the new character seen in MK11's trailer is at the center of all this. With all of that, it kind of looks like they're doing it, folks. The Mystery Woman in Jade's ending is the same character you see in the trailer for MK11. 
I don't think there's any question about it at this point, especially when you have those official descriptions matching up with one another, and I'll link those in the description below. Now that we can come to this assumption, I think we can also assume that since the mystery woman is her own character, I think we can also assume that Jade will be her own character as well in this game and won't be merged with the new character or won't be merged with the mystery woman. And that's if Jade is going to be in this game, but I think we all know that she is going to be in this game since the mystery woman is already in here and they are heavily associated with one another. So there's your answer fairly simply explained. The woman that you see in the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer is the same woman in Jade's MK9 ending and the same woman in Katana's MKX ending. So what do you guys think? What kind of actions do you think will unfold in the story mode? And actually, this is a good talking point. Do you think she's going to be the main boss of this game? I'll probably talk about that later in another video, but I want you guys to leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for all things Mortal Kombat 11. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.